In this video, I'm going to discuss inequality signs and their meaning. Um, an inequality tells you about a relationship between two values that are not equal. The most common inequality signs are, so the most Um, the first one is greater than. Uh, the symbol is written below here. So this means whatever is on the left is greater than whatever will be on the right. So I use a different color for this. Is greater than. The second symbol is less than. The third one is greater than or equal to. The third one is less than or equal to. Okay, um, next I'm going to look at uh, uh, some examples of inequalities and represent them on a number line. I'll start with uh, this one here, x is greater than or equal to 1. So this is read as uh, x is greater than. or equal to 1. Um, this means that x can be 1, or it can be bigger than 1, it can be 2, it can be 4.671, uh, or any number that's greater than 1. So this means that, so say, uh, This means that x can be 1, x can be um, bigger than 1, um, for example, x uh, can be 2, um, or 4.671, or 50,000. So any number that's greater than 1. Now, of course, as you can see, we can't keep on listing all these numbers. We can represent them on, the number, on, on a number line. So we can represent these numbers on a number line. So starting from here, just put some divisions. Uh, say from negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we want to represent this inequality on this number line. Um, what you can do is we can uh, draw um, a circle, full circle, uh, filled in, shaded uh, full circle. What, what this full circle means is um, this inequality here, the values of x that you're stating here um, include 1. So, means uh, including one. But we are saying that x is greater than or equal to one, which means any number that's greater than or equal to one is basically um, 
uh, um, satisfies this inequality. So x is greater than or equal to 1. And we can represent this on a number line the way I've done here. I'll look at another example. Um, x is less than 3. So this is read as uh, x is less than 3. Okay. So x is less than 3 means that so x is less than 3 means that uh, well x cannot be 3 but it can be a number less than 3. So it means that x cannot uh, be 3 but it can be a number less than 3. Good. So we can represent this information on a number line just to represent this. Remember, when we say that x is less than 3, it means x can be... Um, 2.998 all right uh so basically let me just take here so x can be a number like 2.998 or it can be zero because zero is less than three or it can be a negative 59,000. so what you're saying here is there are lots of values that meet, meet this condition how can we represent this solution um, on a number line? So what you can do is just draw a number line. Uh, let me start from negative. I can just draw these partitions here. Uh, I really don't like those partitions. I'm just going to undo them um, here. So negative one, uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So remember what we said um, is that uh, x cannot be three, which means that when we represent this on a number line, what you're going to do is we'll draw um, an open dot basically a circle that's not shaded because x cannot be 3, right? But what you are saying here is that it can, x can be any number less than 3. So we can represent this using uh, an arrow going to the left. So any number that's less than 3 satisfies this condition that we're given here. 